Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. I can bring this camera just a tiny bit closer, so I'm going to, and then we're gonna get started. I am in the mood for pumpkin bread today. I had one can of pumpkin left, so that's what we're gonna put together today. It's in my second cookbook. So we're gonna open this can of pumpkin. This is, um, I remember a couple of years ago when I did a video, a lot of the ladies and viewers told me that canned pumpkin wasn't pumpkin, that it was squash. And I remember at that time when I looked at my can, it was primarily squash. But I noticed this year that the can says 100% pumpkin. And so Libby's is 100% pumpkin. Now, I'm not sure about the other companies, and I know there's been a shortage since the holidays, but I thought I'd show you guys this because I think they have changed it. I don't, I'm not sure why. So we're gonna start out with brown sugar and we're gonna use one and a third cups. And you know what? I'm so hungry for this that I've got a little bitty pan that we're gonna throw in the air fryer so I can have some instant gratification without having to wait the whole time. So I've got a cup scoop. And then we got a third cup scoop. All right, we got in our sugar. We're gonna use the can of pumpkin. I've got background music playing, y'all. It's Christmas, but it's uh, no copyright, so I can do it. <laughs> Found it on YouTube. So we're gonna use a half cup. Of oil. Two eggs. So we're gonna, we're just gonna throw everything in there and then mix it up. I like these measuring spoons cause then I can use one in cinnamon and one in nutmeg and not get it mixed up. This is nutmeg. This is cinnamon. And I know y'all seen this recipe a million times, but my pumpkin bread is more like cake than bread. It is so moist and so delicious. So if you've never tried it, you should give it a try. And then this is just a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. One and a half cups of self-rising flour and a cup of chopped pecans. Let me grab this and put this on the top of it and then we're gonna start mixing it and adding our flour. Make sure this thing is, all right, there we go. you can tell about my pumpkin bread is it don't have a lot of flour in it. I don't put a lot of flour in it because I want it to be moist like cake because that's just how I like it. So it's not going to be a dense pumpkin bread. It's going to be a real light and fluffy cake-like pumpkin bread. It's really pumpkin cake, I guess, but I still call it pumpkin bread. All right, we're going to put about a cup of pecans in here. leave them out unless you can't eat them of course all right now every time I cook something I go down through here and I make sure I got everything in it and this I've got this little no that ain't quite right is it I got this little pan that goes in my air fryer we're going to use it and cook some of it in and then we're going to use the rest of it in a butt pan and I'm gonna make a little one and we're gonna make a bigger one. We're gonna go ahead and spray this smaller one. 
I'm gonna get my baking spray out though. And we're gonna put a small one in here and then we're gonna put the other one in a butt pan. And this is just gonna be so I can show y'all how it looks. Quick, uh, while we chat, while we're waiting on it. This is going in the air fryer just so that I can show y'all a picture of it before you get off here, okay? This is my little air fryer accessory. And so it's gonna sit down in here. And I could have elevated it on the little rack that came with the air fryer, but I'm not gonna fool with that. And I'm just turning it on and then we'll check on it as we were, you know, chatting or whatever. Now we're going to use this Baker's Joy and spray this bunt pan. I never try to grease a bunt pan. There's too many cracks and crevices. I always just use my spray. And I try to buy it when it's buy one, get one free or on sale. And if you shop at Walmart, it's always, you know, the lowest price or whatever. But whatever y'all want to do. And then we're going to pour this in the butt pan. The big oven is uh, preheating. It's nice and cold outside, so I love to cook when it's cold. That's what happens when you get older like me and you're going through the change. Uh, summertime is not fun to cook because it heats up the house and it's just too much. So once it starts cooling out outside, I want to start cooking, cooking, cooking. I don't know if y'all were like that or not, but I sure am. check it in 35 minutes okay so we'll do that I'm so excited last night I went out to the garage and uh, found a I was looking for wire because I was gonna make some extra bows for the um, Christmas tree and because me and Chris when we went to Sam's Club I got a real pretty uh, silver colored wire I'll go in there and show it to y'all right quick while we're talking and um, so I went outside, I went out there to look in my Christmas bins because I needed uh, the wire, you know, to make the bows with. I meant ribbon. Y'all, my head don't work half the time. And I say the wrong things for stuff all the time. Today, y'all are going to see the colored green video when I edited it this morning. At the end of the video, I said, let me taste these turnip greens. And I was like, Tammy, but that's just how I am. If you're new to Colored Valley Cooks, you're going to figure out that Lots of times I say the wrong word for things because they just don't come out right. Um, but I'm going to go show y'all my pretty bows that I made. But it, I've, I've got out my Christmas stuff on the table. And I put out the Royal Dalton on the ends for me and Chris and then just the casual stuff for the kids. This was my mom's. This turn, uh, turn, it's a... I forget, you know what I'm talking about. It turns, and it's poinsettias, and so that's up my cap of hers. That plate under there is hers too. A lot of stuff is my was my mama's. My sweet mama, I miss her. But these are the bows that I bought, the ribbon, and made bows last night. So it's silvery, and it pretty. And um, so I sat here last night and made a lot of bows because Amy was complaining that our tree wasn't as pretty as it normally is. We always have bows on our tree. And um, when we moved, I got rid of all of our bows because we had used them for years. I usually buy ribbon about every five years and I make a bunch of bows and I put them on the tree. 
And in about five years, I get rid of them and make new ones. Well, since we were moving, I did get rid of them. And so she was like, Mama, our tree needs something. And I said, Amy, it needs bows. So now it looks so much better uh, with the bows on it. A second. Maybe I won't hang you up. Oh, and I got something new for the ladies that like stuff about, like, with their hair. Y'all can tell my hair's different today. And I actually blew it dry. When I was at Sam's Club, they had a blow dryer that is new. It says it's improved. I never dry my hair because it wears out my arm. And I've got lymphedema in my arm. And you can tell how fat it is compared to the other one. So I usually don't use this arm and blow dry my hair, but the way this one is made, I could hold it with both hands and dry it, and it my hair didn't get tangled in it, and it did a really, really good job of making it look pretty. Now, my hair is so dry, for real. But look, look, it makes it look yuck for longer, too. But my hair is so dry, y'all, that when I wash my hair, and y'all might get on to me if you're um, a beautician or something. But when I wash my hair, I wash it with um, head and shoulders, now that I've gotten older. And then I use Pantene's conditioner. And it's the kind you're supposed to rinse out, but I put it on my hair and I don't rinse it. And it still don't look greasy. So this is it blowing dry. It looks pretty straight. And my hair had conditioner on it. So uh, just thought I'd show y'all that. So if you're, um, you know, if you don't have to do that to your hair, then it would probably be even, it gives it a lot of body. Oh, y'all aren't gonna believe this. It's already ready. love an air fryer. When I was at my brother's the other day and we did our cook, y'all probably seen him making that broccoli last night. I was like, Eddie, where is your air fryer? He said, I hated it. It was slow. I said, well, then you didn't use it because they're wonderful. Me and Chris use ours for all kinds of stuff, especially warming up stuff. What did I put in it the other day? It was so good. It was something we had for Thanksgiving and I warmed it in the air fryer. Oh, pecan pie. Y'all, I took a piece of my pecan pie and I put it in my air fryer and I warmed it up a few minutes on 350 degrees. It only took like three minutes. And you know how pecan pies are real toasty and the pecans are toasty and delicious the day you make it and then after you wrap it up, they kind of get soft. Well, stick that thing in your air fryer for about three minutes on 350 pull it out and it's all toasty and delicious again. Our, our bread's done. I'm gonna show y'all how pretty it looks. Look y'all. Now, that thing was set on 15 minutes and now, right now, it is on, let's see how many minutes it took it. Four minutes left, so it cooked it in 10 minutes, okay? The fun thing about that is if you're a pig like me and you don't want to wait on something to get done, then you can throw a little bit of it in the air fryer and have it before it's ready. All right, so let's flip this out and see how it looks. I'm going to pull the camera down close to the food so y'all can see the food, okay? I'm in such a good mood. I'm so happy it's Christmas. I don't know why, but just... I like being here in the new in our new place. Um, it's nice and peaceful. The kids went back to college, and I got a couple of weeks left uh, of peace and quiet, and I'm gonna really enjoy it <laughs> because once they're here, they'll be here for several days, right? Now, of course, it's not as brown on the bottom oh, as it was on the top because it is the air fryer, and I could have um, put it maybe. In, on a rack because the air fryer comes with like a little rack and then you know put it in the air fryer but I was too lazy to do that so we're just gonna pull it apart and see how it looks 
I'll let y'all see. And like I said, it's more like cake. See, it's done. It's good and done. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good, y'all. So we're going to take a bite. So good, so delicious, so fast, so easy, right? I hope y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Thanks for joining us on Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. I love y'all. Bye. Oh, if you want to see what kind of uh, air dryer I bought, it's a Revlon. I'll um, show it on Real Southern Woman, or I'll post it for y'all, or something like that. Bye.